Protecting your business from today's threats is top of mind for every company. With Security IQ from Metallic, you get advanced tools and actionable insights so you can detect risks, stay secure, and make better recovery decisions, all from a central location. Access the Security IQ dashboard from within the Metallic Service Catalog. From here, you can view your security posture, anomalous conditions, unusual file activities, and user audit trails at a glance. Let's take a look at our security posture score, which evaluates the security of our backup environment and recommends native actions for improvement. In this environment, only 63% of available security controls within Metallic have been enabled. Click the tile to view more details. From here, you can view all of the parameters enabled or disabled within your environment. There are three security controls indicated with a yellow exclamation point that are available but have not yet been enabled. Let's dig in and turn these on. First, let's start with storage encryption. Click the item, select the proper row without encryption enabled, and specify your encryption parameters. We'll enable third-party KMS for encryption in this demo. Refresh the security details, which confirms that encryption has now been successfully enabled. Next, let's configure multi-authorization, which dictates that all restore or delete operations require approvals from additional parties in order to complete. Let's start with a delete authorization. Select the quick action button to activate this control. Follow the same process to enable restore authorization. Multi-authorizations have now been enabled. Click the link to return to the dashboard, where we now find that 100% of available security controls within Metallic are enabled. Next, let's drill into the anomalous conditions tile, which surfaces abnormal events like runtime, resource load, and event anomalies, such as failed logins, all which could impact recoveries. In this environment, Metallic has flagged a client that has recently gone offline. This could occur via a malicious application. In this case, since we are expecting this client to be offline for maintenance, let's bypass this notice and return to the dashboard. Now, let's take a look at our unusual file activity, which flags suspicious access patterns. Select a tile which indicates an unusual number of files being modified in our environment. Select the line item to view more details. From here, we can see a visual representation of file activities, specifically an increase in files being created, modified, deleted, and renamed, which deviates from typical behaviors in this environment, indicating a potential ransomware event or other unintended data change. Let's filter by the F drive where the file system data is located. Filters allow us to drill down into specific paths for investigation. You can easily do a pre-anomalous recovery of the path automatically. For full system restore, click Restore and select the F drive. From here, you can sort, filter, or perform a targeted search against your data. We've uncovered a hidden ransomware threat in our data set. Let's select this file and surgically remove it from our environment. Let's also roll back the F drive to a pre-anomalous state. Since multi-authorization was enabled earlier in this demo, an additional administrator is being notified to complete this restore attempt. Last, let's return to the Security IQ dashboard and view the audit trail of all user activities. This audit trail catalogs a complete list of user interactions, such as logins, configuration changes, restore attempts, and more, for increased transparency into changes within the metallic environment. Save, email, export, or use APIs to obtain audit logs for further analysis. Improve your security stature, gain early and real-time visibility to threats, and recover faster with Security IQ from Metallic.